is I'm going to go and just start all on here. So I know this is going to be my mark, okay? When you're on the field, if you're in the dirt, like I said, use rebar, whatever, sandbag, just make sure, or you can take another measurement before you shoot your line, okay? So, in your book, in the back page or whatever, I usually do it right. So with your dry erase marker, you can just write uh, right here on the side. Our gun measurement to our pipe is we got 22 inches. Can you move that from the back knuckle of that front? Yep, okay. the back of that cone. So we got 22 inches for our gun measurement, okay? So we know that's that. So then let's take our camera. I'm probably going to use one here. Bobby, maybe. Check that out. And then well, that's where that 100 foot tape measure comes into play. You know, so you to lay it on the ground. Okay. Ten feet. Okay. So now we know we're using this material. And all this is going to be in your book too, okay. step by step. All right, lay that ground. You can do three or four, don't matter. So that's gonna be our cone. All right, so it's gonna be just waste. And then put your camera from here. You're doing that for the for the cuffing of, of the shot, right? No, no, that's just for the cone. We're gonna cut that off. Okay. And that's, is that where you you put the small vacuum? No, we're gonna put the vacuum on this side. Okay. So, you there? What did we say our gun was? 22. 22. And that's going to be gun. Just 22 inches. And then all you got to do is leave about 3 inches for your vacuum. Scissors here. Get that so far? Yeah. So we got 
three inches for our backing. For backing. And actually cut that right now. I usually just use that. No, you didn't just cut the little hole. So you're on your back. I'll take it. See that duct tape? Thank you. All you're doing is just closing off this end. So I need to back in. So far so good? And like I said, it's gonna go through that'll be all under. Tube, you can either use clear or orange uh, as meant for heat, heat uh, for a boiler or steam on our clear or orange. You're in there of your liner. All the way down. All the way. There you go. So then, and when you're on the job or on the field, do it the same way. Lay out your liner, mm -hmm. then lay out your cow tube on top of it. One thing you want to do is protect this cow tube from uh, dragging it on the ground or anywhere um, that there might be any sharp objects because you want to protect this cow tube. At all, pretty much that's most if you're most of your guys' stuff in the basement, just lay out your liner, lay your cow tube on top of it. If you're out on, on, the, on the floor or out in the yard or something like that, just roll on top of that liner and just protect it. Don't drag it on the, on the ground. All right, so we're gonna go three feet past our liner. So, your cow tube will always be longer than your liner. So, we'll always, um, most of the time it's going to be three feet. You'll cut your, your liner, your cow tube always three feet past whatever liner you got laying on the ground. Um, usually it's going to be two feet past your liner. We're going to do one foot or not. I'm going to show you how to do that knot. Um, Uh, let's lay out the lay flat hose here. Do we have any hose bibs connection? 